You know, one of the first things we did when we visited here, we started um, sort of envisioning this project because we just sat in space for a long time. And I think originally we were imagining this to be a wall piece and we're thinking of working off the walls. And the longer that we spent time in the gallery, the sort of, uh, you know, various sort of classic portions of the room sort of begged us to use the center of the space and were very formative in the proportions of the panels that we're creating and how they sort of function in the space. And for this piece, we're uh, working with the concept of the artist book. So we're creating an installation that uh, will function as an artist book that you can walk through and walk around. And we're using the sort of understanding of an artist book as a continuum of experience. So it'll be uh, a piece that is, uh, first and foremost, a very experiential one. It'll be a porous structure made of panels of cut and painted paper. Um, through which um, light will pass and create an experience of both painted and reflective color um, and light, and um, will echo the um, dimensions of the gallery um, or the proportions of the gallery and provide an opportunity for the viewer to walk around the perimeter as well as walk through a pathway. Mm -hmm. talked about this porous uh, paper, hanging paper installation that we're going to make. Uh, the cuts are coming from poetry. From there, we just sort of started finding ourselves gravitating towards a number of different texts. So the cut marks that we've done are, is a relation, have a relationship with the text. We've come up with a sort of simplified um, vocabulary that is created from, um, I think we counted 10. Um, 10 characters, which are kind of basic strokes that have a relationship to the form of the letter. So one character um, relates to each letter of the alphabet. And we've transcribed, um, right now we're doing a, we have a list of about 30 poems that we're transcribing into each letter of um, this, in each poem that makes up a word is cut out into the paper. I think it's interesting that the um, resulting product is not sort of a mashing together of Rachel's um, approach and my approach, or her vision and my vision, but it's really a joint vision. I think something as an artist that's really exciting is through collaboration, you're able to get to a place that you wouldn't have been able to get otherwise singularly because the sort of sum of two creative experiences or multiple creative experiences creates something that is um, inherently new. Thank mm -hmm. you.